Since the turn of the century, man has moved the earth with hard work and steel. With a pioneer-like determination, humans pushed and pulled against teams much like this one. Miskin has been improving this method since 1916. In the early years, Miskins learned the value of horsepower and today make the easiest to pull scrapers. Miskin's got the right blade angle and it can scoop up a big load of dirt. Our competitors use a shallow blade angle. It starts out easy, but it pulls hard when the dirt mashes against the back of the pan. It's hard to get the front part of our competitor's scraper loaded. Miskin's steep blade angle pushes the dirt up instead of towards the back of the scraper. It loads the back and the front of the scraper fully.
dirt loads into a miskin scraper like a volcano. And uh, you could just, in any kind of condition, sand, dirt, whatever, you could just boil sand right over the top of the, of the scraper all day long. And uh, couldn't load the Ashland half full. Yeah, and then you'd have to, you'd, they'd run in, with, in a real high gear to get as much speed up as they could, and uh, then just gouge the blade in repeatedly. Just stick the blade in and pull it back up. Stick it in, build the speed back up, stick the blade in, pull it back up. Better, oh, twice the traction I had, and he had more horsepower than I had. And we were both working side by side, building toes on levee, where we ran short of dirt with the dozer and the, and the track hoe. And I could put twice the toe on in a day, is what he could put on, even though he had more traction and, and uh, a bigger scraper and, and uh, more horsepower than I did. A typical scraper bowl is shaped like this, with the blade here and the bottom and the backboard. And in order to get its rated capacity, it has to be full uh, in a one-to-one -one slope up from the sides whether it's 8 yards or 10 yards or 14 yards or whatever to get its maximum capacity the tractor has to have enough power to lift the dirt all the way uh, up to the peak of this load. Uh, by contrast the Miskin scraper has a unique shaped bucket. It starts out with a steeper blade angle uh, then the bucket goes back further comes up tilts forward across and then uh, slopes down in front comes in with the clamshell apron. Uh, in order to get the Miskin's full rated capacity you also have to come up with the one-to-one -one slope from the edges but you only have to lift the dirt this high and so with a Miskin scraper you might get a uh, 200 horsepower tractor uh, will load it fully where to get the same number of yards in any other type of scraper the tractor has half, half the additional horsepower maybe 250 or 300 horsepower to raise that pile of dirt up that extra distance and that's when the tractor starts to blow the black smoke and really uh, bog down is during the end of its load when it's trying to get that last peak on Clay, you've got a scraper that's in my case, it's actually wider than the tractor is, 13 feet wide. And it is once you get the bucket half full of sand, you don't have anything to push against with the sand you're trying to load, and it starts to snow plow ahead of you. Well, with the Miskin bucket, then, you're not trying to force it six feet, seven feet back into a bucket. You're not trying to pile it six feet high. Uh, it, it will load to a, a, a greater degree of its capacity than the other buckets that we had out there. Um, but with a four-wheel drive tractor in the real loose sand, you might only get an 80% load each time, as opposed to the Ashland, which wasn't even loading 50% uh, at a turnaround. And that makes a big difference when you're going back and forth all day. You know, a few extra yards at the end of the day makes a big difference.